This Real Estate Buzz segment is brought to you by McLeod & Associates, a full-service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell. It's about the difference we make in people's lives. Joining us on Cup of Buying today is Mia McLeod, our real estate expert. Hello. Hello. Always good to be here, Kapatid G. And um, magandang hapon sa mga viewers natin. Thank you yes. so much. Yes. So as we know, uh, it's the time to sell yes. your property. Why is that, Mia? Okay, so April, May, June are always prime time throughout the year for the sellers because this is when more buyers come out, but even more so this year because the inventory is tighter. So really sellers are getting top dollar this particular year because we're tight on inventory. It causes more offers to come in, negotiations, it drives the price up. Okay, so, wonderful. Yes. So we've got a couple of tips from me, uh, from Mia, of course, to share with our Kababayans. Let's start off with what sellers want to know. Well, I mean, when is the best time to sell my home, which is what we covered. So historically speaking, over the last 12 months, this time, April, May, June, is prime time for you as a seller. So if you're on the fence, you know, you could give us a call. We'll give you a free consultation, see how much your property is worth. We'll walk you through your property, give you some recommendations on how to get it market ready. Mm -hmm. yes. And then you did also mention, you kind of answered the question is, uh, how is the real estate market, market. right now? You yes. said that there's a uh, Tight, lack of yeah, inventory. Yes, yeah? yes. So we're, I think we're gonna see more come into the market because it is summer. So I think more sellers are gonna come, but right now we're still seeing uh, tight inventory. Just year over year, we're bit, we've been short. Okay, Yes. now what are the steps uh, to take to prepare to sell a house? Okay, well first you really have to sit down with a real estate professional, go through a listing consultation, which is free. Mm -hmm. They're gonna tell you like what kind of marketing plan they could put together. They may recommend staging. They may walk through the property, recommend certain things to get fixed. They'll give you a laundry list of items to make sure you're ready to hit the market okay yes. now you also said that um, what should people disclose Close. to potential buyers yeah so this is a pretty because in our industry you know disclose 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 is key so the more you share the better because you don't want anything to come back and bite you after the close of escrow so let's say you've had rat infestation or major termite issues or you um, had a water leak or something you just want to disclose that in all the paperwork so that way the future homeowner or the future buyer knows okay yes yes all right and then how do you determine kung magkano mo ibebenta ang bahay yes and this is a common question and again this is where you can really you know rely on your real estate professional they're going to come in and really show you what has closed in the last three to six months per square foot um, you know what's going on in the market, how long is property staying, days on the market, um, is there any personal traits or awesome traits on that property like a view or mm, pool that mm. might um, affect pricing. Okay. Is the house in good condition or fair condition or poor condition compared to what we're up against okay. competition wise. So, so that's why you really need a realtor, right? Yes, because absolutely. if not, you're swimming in the dark. Yes, you might underprice your property, which would be a huge disadvantage for you as a seller if you yes. could walk away with more, or you might overprice it, which is also a huge disadvantage as a seller. So a real estate professional can help you avoid those mistakes. Okay, yes. now can you explain to us, Mia, what does a contingency sale mean? Okay, this is very common in today's market, and basically what it's saying is, I wanna sell my house, G, but contingent upon me finding a replacement property. Okay. So you're just disclosing that to the potential buyer so that they know what the kind of transaction they're gonna enter into. And we've got all the paperwork and contracts to make sure it's all in place. Okay, yes. now there are things that people need to be wary of. What are the four major home selling mistakes to avoid in this year, 20? 17, and yes. we have it here for you, yes. uh, skipping the necessary preparation, yes. pricing too high for the market, being present for showings and open houses, not <laughs> working with an experienced professional. Why are these things everyone should avoid? Because these are very common and they're easy things to fix, but yet a lot of sellers miss those. So just making sure the house is ready. Uh, maybe you don't have to be there at every open house or every showing, like breathing down the new buyer's neck, because let them explore the house for themselves, you know, and not working with an experienced real estate professional. Those are all major mistakes that commonly happen, unfortunately. So those are some tips that you can avoid this year. Okay, now what are the 10 best kept secrets for being able to sell 
that house right away. Okay, we covered this actually in a previous segment. We can go through it fairly quickly here, but the first impression is the only impression, kind of like a first date. You only get one shot to make a first impression, so make it good. Always be ready to show. Don't be so, like, I can only show the house uh, on, on Mondays weekends. from four to five. Right. And then it, you lose Eat out, up. yes. Uh -uh. Yeah, just be flexible. Kitchen comes first. You know, we spend a lot of time in the kitchen. That's where families spend most of their time. So make sure that looks nice, spruce it up. Uh, take that home out of your house. Well, okay, this is a lot, this could be misconstrued a lot of different ways, but basically if you have a lot of family photos everywhere. Take them off. Take them off. You can maybe leave a few, but just don't overdo it. Okay. Yes. Um, don't don't over-upgrade because you don't know what the style of the new buyer, you know, what they the might just pull it all yeah, out. They Sayang could change it. Oh. Yeah, you definitely want the house to be turnkey and show ready, but you don't have to overdo any of your upgrades. Okay, what does conceal the critters mean? <laughs> so these are our pets. Let's not like have them running around while you're showing. Maybe keep them in the garage or wherever they uh, stay in the meantime. Yes, but don't lock them up in the closet because when they check that closet, yes, they might come out. <laughs> yes, that's true. Very good. All right. Of course, you want to get a realtor that is informed about the area. The area that understands the process, the flow in the transaction, that can really guide you and hold your hand through the process. So. I like this. Light it up. Yes. Let's turn on all the lights, open the blinds. Let's show the good light to come in. Let's not show it dark. Yes. yes yeah. Okay. And then half empty closets. Tanggalin nyo lahat ng mga sapatos, <laughs> lahat ng mga damit. Yes. Nobody wants to open up a closet that's, that's so bursting. Full. Yeah. yeah. You can have your stuff in there, but keep it organized and don't overuse the space. And right. most importantly, price it right. Statistically, if you continue to have to lower, you end up walking away with, with less. less. If compared to if you priced it right from the beginning. That's right, and that's why a yeah. professional like me and McLeod and McLeod and Associates can help you because if not, yes. it up now, right? Yeah, and we do these consults for free. We can go to your house, we can walk through the property, give you recommendations, tell you how much the home is worth. If you're a buyer, we can also talk to you about your goals, what's going on in the market, market trends, and come up with a solid game plan for you. Yes, and that's the number to call, 909-612-9488. Yes. Of course, everyone is invited to the Eastvale Community Workshop that's happening on June 10th. 10th at 10 o'clock. That's right. All you have to do is call to RSVP. That is free. They will be going over a lot of things like you know, living loans. trust. Yes, and loans. We will have Eastville updates. We have one of our uh, favorite attorneys, Attorney Ed, who's going to cover living trust. We do this absolutely for free. It always gets full. So call the office. Um, it's a fun day, uh, and we'll have some snacks too. But you learn a lot. I always walk away with more information. Wonderful. Yeah. And of course, you can get a free property value report. All you got to do is call this number. Ibig pung sabihin yan. If you want to know how much your house is worth even though you're not wanting to sell right away absolutely yes you just have to call Mia and uh, her office mm -hmm. to make a, an appointment Women. absolutely so even if you're looking to buy even whether it's tomorrow or two years from now or same with selling we do them absolutely for free it just gives you a better understanding of what the real estate process looks like okay I'm going to make my appointment to go to Walnut already let's do it <laughs> I can't all right, thank yes. you so much, Mia. It's always so informative talking to you. Thanks, thanks for Kapatid. sharing all thanks, this knowledge Kapatid. with us. Yeah, thanks, Kapatid, and thanks to all the viewers. Yes. All right. Maraming salamat, mga kababayan, for tuning in this week. And uh, makita-kita tayo ulit bukas here on Kababayan Today. Salamat po.